What's up, peeps? Welcome back to my lifestyle channel. If you don't know who I am, well, hi, my name is Alejandro. And I am going to show you more about my lifestyle. So, as I talk to you guys later. in my... A few inches later. Past video, I was talking to you guys about the story behind how I lost the weight. Now, I want to talk to you guys about what did I eat to lose all that weight in such a short time? Well, guys, I honestly would eat like once or twice a day. And my like my meals will be like, like super small, like, I don't know, like uh, this small portions of food. Um, man... I don't know how I really got so used to all of that. It was really hard, guys. I mean, sometimes I would crave pizza, hamburgers, all that good stuff, you know? Especially when you're a Mexican. Like, oh my God, it's so hard, you know? Like, having your Mexican side, you're like, they make a uh, bunch of burritos, tacos, and all that good stuff. Like, or you see someone that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine. When you have such a Mexican side and sometimes they offer you a lot of food, you know, when you go like when your grandma and she, she's like, hey, mijo, you want this or you want that? I just made that. Oh, but grandma, it's because you put a lot of grease into it. No, mijo, it's, it doesn't even have grease. And then you walk up to the kitchen and you look at her food and it's all greasy <laughs> like really grandma <laughs> but it's it's really funny you know like every time i go visit my grandma or just in general you know like they say that oh like oh it doesn't have a lot of fat you know like you'll be fine but see that was my decision guys to move away from all that greasy food is it hard yes it's really 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 hard guys one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life is dedicate myself into eating really really clean yeah I would normally like have my cheat day on I would usually do it on Sundays and still do but I don't really typically eat like fat 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 food but I would probably eat tacos. Uh, no, I would. I, I don't know. My biggest fear is still burritos, guys. That dough, it's crazy. What else would I say? Like, or just go to restaurants. You know, it's really hard, guys. You know, when you when you're trying to eat really really clean, and you have a lot of like people you hang out with. You know, like your friend and. <laughs> or just in general your friend or your family you know and it's like oh sometimes they they want to like oh, pick on you be like hey come on eat this it's not gonna affect you you know but it's the thing that for me I it was a thing that either I was gonna stay dedicated to it or I wasn't you know so I did dedicate myself to it guys I did and I decided to not go back to those eating habits of just eating a lot of junk food. So, yeah, like I would eat like just a, sandwich, a small portion sandwich. In between those meals, I would eat like a little snack, maybe like granola with yogurt or just like carrots with uh, cheese. Right now, I'm not a big fan of dairy products because I recently became lactose and intolerance and that is not a good feeling you guys no 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 you don't want to mess with dairy products but you know I would like I would eat once or twice like I'm telling you and it's it really was bad guys it, like it hit that point that I was feeling like I wanted to faint I feel lightheaded all because I became 
almost became, sorry, anemic, meaning that I wasn't eating too much, you know? My body wasn't getting the type of, I guess, vitamins and all that stuff that it needed. So, yeah, I, within time that I was talking with a doctor, like, he recommended me eating more. I would go to YouTube, you know, check out, like, people... Um, how to do your prep meals, what to eat, what not to eat. Um, I would do all that, guys. That's how I studied on how to measure my prep meals, how to do all that stuff, you know? And honestly, YouTube is a big help. It's a big help when you need something. Like, when you have a question, YouTube will answer you. I'm here because I want to show you something different. I want to show you my type of lifestyle. I want to show you all that nice things, you know? And there's more to come, guys. There's there's really more to come. Sometimes, yeah, you, you'll want to feel like, oh, maybe it's not your day. Some days you're going to feel like, oh, yeah, this is your day. But you know what? It happens, guys. It happens. But when you start feeling like, oh, down, like, don't give up. Don't give up. That's the sign of where you need to wake up. Wake up and get up. Look up and don't give up. Don't give up. If you give up, that's it. You're leaving everything behind. And what's in front of you, your future. And you don't want that. Why? Because either barely you're starting or you're already on your future. Or you just don't know what future you, you want for yourself, you know? Me, I want to inspire people. I want to inspire you. You. I want to help you save your money. Why waste your money on people that you don't even know? Trainers you don't even know. Like, why? Yeah, maybe you know who I am. Maybe you don't know who I am. But like I said, I'm here to help you grow. You don't need... Like I said, you don't need powder products, which come from your protein. All you need is food, guys. Food. Because that's the most where you consume consume your protein. Sorry. Honestly, guys. You know, like I, like I was telling you, yeah. Back to my story. Yeah, I, I was suffering a lot, guys, from eating once or twice. A day it was one of the crazy experiences like I told you I was feeling horrible <laughs> I don't know what the heck was going on with me I just knew that I, I wasn't normal like I wasn't I wasn't but like I'm telling you since the doctor told me hey you know what you're wrong you're wrong for not eating and in my mind I was always like no I don't have to eat I don't have to eat a lot because if I eat a lot it's just not gonna help me lose that weight no, it's not. It doesn't go like that. You have to eat more. Eat more, but clean. And go hit your cardio. Go run. You know what I mean? Do do stadiums. Do do whatever consists of cardio. But just hit it hard. Hit it hard. Don't give up. It just takes time, guys. It takes time. I always had that that little thing in my mind that I was always like I always thought that man like why is my weight taking forever why why can I can like my body just work faster you know I don't understand every time I would weigh myself I was anxious like I was anxious during the week I would weigh myself like once or twice or even three times a week and that's bad that's bad i would tell my mom and my dad hey plus i'm always weighing myself and sometimes i go up and i stay in the middle or sometimes i lose weight and they were like no it's because you're not supposed to be weighing yourself every three times a week just do it once once a week so i was like what that's crazy so i started thinking i was like Maybe it does make sense, you know? Maybe I'm wrong, you know? Because, you know, I'm not always going to be right, you know? I'm not perfect. 
at least I know I'm not, you know? And so I tried it every Friday, every Friday. And man, my weight was going down like crazy, like crazy. And I was like, what? My parents were right. I don't know how, but it made sense. Because when you're eating, sometimes your weight is going to go up or it's going to stay at the same rate or it's going to go down. I was like, dang, that makes a lot of sense. So that's when I understood my parents more. And, you know, like, from there I was waiting myself every, every, every Friday. And I was counting my, my like, all the pounds that I was losing all my calories, all that stuff. And I was like, what the heck? I was losing a lot of weight, a lot of weight. I, to me, it was the craziest thing ever. I couldn't believe it, guys. I couldn't believe that I lost so much weight. No one believes me. No one believes me. It's fine. You don't have to believe me. I'm not here to tell you, hey, believe me. But I'm just telling you, if you try it, if you try it, if you really want it, if you really want to lose that weight, what will you do to lose that weight? How bad do you want to lose that weight? How bad? It's only on you. Only on you. You're your coach. Honestly, you don't need no one. You don't need no one to help you. You only need yourself and your brain and your heart. Think and love what you do. Don't give up, guys. Really, don't give up. I was at, at that point that I felt like I wanted to give up. But I always said to myself, no, that is not me. I'm not giving up. I'm not gonna let a damn weight beat me and punch me to the ground. I'm not. I'm gonna stand tall and I'm gonna keep walking no matter how much, how much heart life is. I'm not gonna let life beat me. I'm gonna beat life. It's all on you guys, honestly. And I mean all of this from the bottom of my heart don't give up. I know that probably sometimes you'll feel like you don't have anything around you. It's fine. Like I said, you're not the only one. You're really not. A lot of people go through it. A lot. Think about what you really want to do in life. I want to thank you for watching my videos. And don't forget... Keep your head up high and don't let no one ruin your dreams. You're the champ of this world. Thank you all for your love and support. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Thank you. Peace.